Hello, I'm Tilly and welcome to my kitchen. Today I wanted to talk to you about what we can do to start prepping for the food shortages that are coming because like it or not they are coming um, and we've all got to do as much as we possibly can to prepare. Now I know not everybody's got spare cash to buy extra food but it's a struggle enough to buy the food that we need for day-to-day -day life. So the thought of having to buy extra food and provisions is quite a daunting thought. Um, but even if you can just get one tin extra, put it away, you know, a bag of porridge and put that away, whatever you can possibly put away um, for when things get more difficult, more difficult than they already are. I know things are difficult now. Um, anything that you can put away would be a help in the future. Yeah, I know. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Um, it's hard for all of us, um, but I do know it's harder for some than others. You know, we're not all in the same position. Um, we're not wealthy, not by any stretch. Um, a lot of my friends and family aren't. So a lot of the people around me are also struggling and are, I see it constantly I and mean, we talk about this all the time about how they struggle now and how they're going to struggle even more to try and get stuff in to prepare. Um, but there are some little things just make little changes where you can and um, I don't know whether you've seen my video, I sold some furniture to buy some food um, and I'm continuing to sell stuff out of my home and like I said before that I know not everybody has got stuff that they can sell but if you have it might be an option for you. Um, the one thing I would say is just breathe. Just take a breath, relax, it'll be fine. We will get through this, we will get through this. Um, I've written down some notes of things, ideas of how you can start prepping um, <clears throat> because you may or may not know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've got a memory legacy, so I, I have to write everything down. And one of the big things I wrote down here was breathe. So breathe. We'll breathe together. Now, another thing I wrote down here was don't feel like you've got to watch every bit of news and listen to every bit of news we will drive ourselves potty honestly by listening to everything and watching all the news articles well for one we don't know which ones to watch we don't know which ones are telling the truth mm, arguably any of them we don't know um, as we know news stations uh, the media they like to embellish things because it gets views it gets readers uh, so they make big deals of little things. Now I'm not saying that we don't have to take precautions because I do believe that we do. But when you hear the news and um, read things in the, the, the certain media, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about, take it with a grain of salt. Um, Yes, we do have to you know, keep up to date with certain events that's going on um, and not bury our head in the sand. But we don't have to watch it all day, every day. Um, turn it off, put some music on, uh, watch something a lot more lighthearted. Don't dwell on it too much. So think logically. So what I mean is, don't rush out and buy tons of stuff, you know, that you won't eat. If you don't eat it now, you're not likely to eat it if you've got it in your store cupboard. So 
buy what you like, what you like, what you usually eat, buy that sort of food, the long life stuff, uh, sh shelf stable stuff. Now, I made a few notes on um, the food because we all know how important it is to have a balanced diet. Um, you need proteins, fats, carbohydrates, you need all the vitamins and the fibres and all that sort of stuff. So um, you'll need fruit and veg. Now, we don't know whether we're going to be able to get fresh fruit and veg or how long for, but tinned fruit and veg dehydrated, frozen, they're all perfectly fine. You'll still get all your vitamins and nutrients out of those. Um, I'm going to start dehydrating. Now I haven't got a dehydrator, but I have got a, a convection oven. So that's a fan one. So I can do dehydrating in the oven. I haven't got the money to go out and buy a dehydrator, especially for dehydrating, but I can do it in the oven. <clears throat> and it won't use too much electricity. I know you have to dehydrate for a long time, but you only have it on very, very low. And you also, because I've been <laughs> researching, <laughs> I've, I research everything, you can leave the door open a little crack to let the air flow, so it can let the steam out and, and dry it all out properly. So that will help warm the room as well. So I'm going to start dehydrating. I've been watching loads of videos. I've been reading all about it. So I think I'm an expert. I've never done it before, <laughs> but we'll see. I will keep you updated on that. And the first thing I'm going to dehydrate is some frozen vegetables, because apparently that's a really good place to start because they're so easy. Because when you do vegetables and things, you have to blanch them. But if you put a pack of frozen vegetables in to dehydrate, then all the blanching is done for you and they don't take as long as a lot of other things to dehydrate. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with some frozen vegetables. I will let you know how I get on with that one. Um, so we need fruit and veg, proteins, which is dairy, dairy alternatives, um, pulses, peas, beans and lentils, and they're all good for fibre as well. So we really want to try and get as much different food varieties as, as we can in our store cupboard. So we're not just eating pasta or potatoes or rice. You don't want to just eat a, a whole ton of carbs. You need to have as much balanced diet as you possibly can. And you can get uh, tinned fish. I've, I've, um, on my Asta shop, I got these sardines. 37p. Now those sort of things are great because they've got all the oils and the vitamins and everything in. Um, and tuna chunks, as does essentials, 55 pence. So these sort of things are perfect to just help give that all around balanced diet. I also got some, um, I've got some green lentils and some um, red split lentils. And I'm going to be making some dried mixes so i'll put them in my my jars because i keep all my jars and reuse them so what i should do is put like soup mixes in this so the dried vegetables uh, with the lentils and peas and um, all the herbs that i want in it and if you think that i want it like a dry stock cube that type of thing so I have it in the jar so that can go on the shelf and it will keep um, I've also ordered some um, of the silica gel packs, the food, the food safe ones. So I'll pop one of those in as well. Um, and that will be ready just to go on the stove, add some water, and it's ready to make a nice soup and broth and all that sort of stuff. So I've been doing some dry mixes. Um, what else have I got? Oh, now... This was left in a comment and, and I thought it was an excellent idea. Make a list of everything you eat over as long a period of time as you can, let's say a two weeks or a month. Write down every single thing that you eat and drink and everybody in your household. So all the water, all the drinks, everything, cups of teas, all the food, uh, the toiletries, everything you use. 
although I don't think the toilet zoos are quite as important as the food that you need to feed yourself. Um, you can clean yourself with a bar of soap, you can wash your hair with a bar of soap. So I'm not worrying at the moment, I'm not buying that sort of stuff in. At the moment I'm getting more food, food based stuff rather than um, cleaning stuff. So, but a bar of soap works fine. So write down every single thing that you use in your household, every member of the household, write it down for two weeks, a month if possible, and then at the end of that time period, the two weeks or the month, whatever time you do it for, you can have a look and see exactly what you use for a month or what you need for a month. Now, when things get a bit tighter and costs go up, you won't need to be using all that stuff because we all use a lot of stuff. We all waste a lot of stuff. Well, most of us do anyway. All can cut back a little bit on some stuff. But that gives you a really good idea of how much it's going to cost you for each month and then times that by 12. I'm trying to get food in for a year. I've got a long way to go. I haven't got anywhere near enough yet. I don't know whether I'll be able to get it all in because it is so expensive. But I'm trying. Um, I'm putting a little bit away at a time and I'll get there. But that, I thought that was a really good idea. J just check what you use, write it all down and then times it by 12 or if you do it for a month. Now, oh, another thing, um, medications. If you're on medications um, at all, they are possibly going to become difficult to get hold of. We don't know, we're not sure, none of us are sure what's going to happen. Um, but if you have medications that you really need, just try and get a few extra if possible. You know, have a word with your doctor, whatever you need to do to get your health supplies. Um, if you can get extra in, that would be brilliant. Um, canning, I'm also going to start canning um, foods because I've been watching <laughs> more YouTube videos of that. Um, so I'm learning all about it. Um, when I get time, because I'm trying to do so many things at the moment, I'm going to do some canning. I'm also going to grow um, my as much food as I possibly can. So I've already got started well, I haven't got started with the growing, I've got started with clearing the garden. Now, if you haven't got a garden, you can grow things on a, a windowsill. Um, you can grow things just like the herbs and tomato plants. Tomato plants you can grow in front of a window in a, in a plant pot. So there's things you can do to start growing a little bit, even if you haven't got outdoor space, you could possibly grow stuff in a pot inside near the window. So I'm going to start growing as much as I possibly can. We're trying to sort the garden out. Um, the weather's been against us. It actually looks like there's a storm coming in now. So we are trying to do it. We're, we're clearing everywhere and cutting the hedge back and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, I my last Asda shop, I've been trying to sort out another shop, so I've been putting stuff in my Asda shopping cart online because I did a big shop when I sold my bedroom furniture and I've been selling other stuff, so I'm getting a little pot of money together to buy more food um, and I've been getting another Asda shop ready. Now, I've already noticed that the Asda Essentials food, the pasta shapes, which were 35p for 500 grams, are now 41p and that's in the space of a week. Uh, the spaghetti which was 23p for 500 grams is now 28p and there was various things that was out of stock. Um, so it's, it's going up already and it's going out of, out of stock quickly. Now when I did my um, shopping cart, I've got my shopping cart there and I've, I've kind of checked out so you save the slot, the delivery slot, but you can go back in and amend your shopping cart. So periodically I go back in and the things that was out of stock, some of them are back in stock. So I can add them to the cart. Now I can only hope that they're still in stock when 
I actually, my, my order is actually delivered. Fingers crossed for that one, but we just don't know, do we? Oh, also, <laughs> top cashback. Now, if you don't already do top cashback or you haven't heard of top cashback, it's a site where you can get cashback for your shopping online. So there's a lot of shops online that do top cashback. Um, so you shop as normal, but you go through the top cashback link. And for my last Asda shop, I got two pound cashback. And I'll get two pound cash back for this um, shop and my next one. So have a look into that. Um, I'll leave a link. If I'll try and remember to leave a link in the description below. Now, if I can, I don't know whether I'm allowed to. You can do a refer a friend. So um, if I can, I've got to check it because I don't know how legal it is. So so if I refer my sisters or my friend or whoever, they get. Um, I, can't, I don't know how much it is, I can't remember, because it changes quite a lot, but they get some cash back into their account and I get some cash back into my account, which is wonderful. So either way, I'll leave the link in the description below and hopefully I'll be able to get some cash back and so will you. Um, so fingers crossed that I'm allowed to do that. I'm, I need to check it for legal stuff, you know. I'm not very good with all this legal stuff, what you can and can't do. But I got £2 cash back on my last shop and also there's £2 cash back I'll get on this shop. Brilliant. I like that. Um, now, I just wanted to show you... I'm just going to have a quick check, make sure I've got everything. Uh, oh, water. Um, I've been getting water in, bottled water, just in case. So, you know, that's one thing you could do, get some bottles. I got the five litre bottles of water. It's £1.30 in Asda. Used to be a pound, but obviously five litre bottles of water take up a lot of space in a lorry. And with the costs as they are, um, I guess they've had to put the price of that up. Right, one thing I wanted to show you was this. It's not a camera <laughs> it's a radio uh, but it's not just a radio it's got a, a, a torch or a flashlight um, it's solar so you can charge it up and put it on your windowsill or outside um, so it can charge up solar uh, it, you get a little cable with it as well so you can charge it up with through the electric if you need to um, but you can also Wind it up. How brilliant is that? Now, it's a radio, a torch, and you can charge your phone in it. So I can plug it, you plug your phone in. Oh, I haven't got my phone cable. Um, but you just plug your phone, if that was your phone cable, you plug your phone in with a USB in that end, and then plug that into your phone, and you charge your phone up. And I've I have tested it brilliant works brilliant and oh <laughs> you see this is where i'm not very good with the legal stuff because i was going to tell, show you how the radio works but i don't know if i'll get done for copyright <laughs> let me just put a little that's enough i don't want to get a strike on youtube <laughs> so that's brilliant and I got that from Amazon. I will put my Amazon link, affiliate link, hopefully, because hopefully I've signed up properly with Amazon, so I'm not quite sure. But I'll put that link in the description below for that. It wasn't very expensive. And if the power goes off, everything goes off, you've got something to charge your phone or, or anything that's got a USB, because anything that charges with a USB will work in there. It's got another little... Um, that's what it's got. So it's got that little one as well. Uh, so brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. I'm really, really, really pleased with that. Um, and it's got, it's got an aerial. <laughs> and it's got the flashlight. I won't shine it in your eyes. So, got that. That came today. So I've been having a little play with that. And I love it. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, and I think... 
think that's everything I was going to show you. I think so. So, I hope that was helpful. Um, do take care. Uh, look after each other. Um, we've just got to do whatever we can to get through this, as long as it's legal. <laughs> look after each other. Look after yourselves. And we will get through this together. So, I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.